My name is Sia and today I'm going to talk about square roots and cube roots. So let's talk about what radicals are. The symbol that is used to denote square roots or nth roots is basically it looks like this. It's called radical. And let's look deeper into what the terms mean. So the x that is inside the radical sign is called the radicand and it's a number or expression. The n value that is outside the radical sign um, is called the nth root, and it can be any number, 2, 3, 4, 5, really anything. And this uh, sign here is just called radical sign. So let's look into square roots. A square root can be written like this, with a 2 as the nth uh, root number, or it could be written like this anytime a symbol like this is shown without any number outside the radical sign, it means that it's a square root. So let's try some examples. Um, so the square root of 4, so the way we can find this is we have to use multiplication. So inside the radical sign, we have to come up with numbers that uh, multiply together that are equal to 4. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and because um, this is a square root anytime there's two of the same numbers inside the radical sign and there's a 2 outside these just come right out so the answer would be 2 so let's try a little bit more complicated um, a little more, bit more complicated version so 8 so 8 is equal to 4 times 2. So we can simplify this even further by doing, by simplifying this 4 out. And now that we know 4 is equal to 2, we know that 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we could do 2 times 2 times 2. And because there are three of the 2s, we can take one of them out. Since there's 2, we can take that 2 out. And we can leave the other two inside the radical sign. So the answer is 2 root 2. So because there were two, uh, there were three 2's inside the radical sign, um, and the nth root is 2 because it's a square root, we can take, we can take uh, these 2's out and make it into this one too, and leave that one too inside the radical sign. So let's try this one, 16. So we know that 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And because this is a square root, anytime a number is repeated inside the radical sign, that number just comes right out. So the answer is 4. And let's try this number, 22. So we know that 11 times 2 is 22. However, this cannot be simplified more because this is a square root and there has to be two of the same numbers inside the radical sign for anything to come out. So 22 cannot be simplified any further. So the answer would just be root 22 because there is no other simple form to put this in, put this um, as for an answer. So let's try cube roots. Um, a cube root looks like this, wherein there is a 3 outside of the radical sign, which means that anytime a number is repeated 3 times inside the radical sign, the um, answer would just be that number itself. So let's try some examples. So the cube root of 8, well, we know that 8 is 4 times 2. And 4 times 2, we can simplify that as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And because 2 is repeated 3 times, sorry, I forgot 2, is repeated 3 times inside the cube root, the, we would just take all these 2's out and make it into that 1, 2, and the answer would be 2. So the cube root of 8 is 2. So let's try uh, root 27. 
So 27, well, that's 9 times 3 is 27. And 9 is um, equal to 3 times 3. So we could do 3 times 3 times 3. And so that is equal to 3 because it's a cube root. And any time the number is repeated three times inside the cube root, we would just take all of these numbers and just make that into the number itself as the answer. So the main rule in this sort of scenario is that any time the number is repeated um, inside the radical, for let's say it's a cube root, if it's repeated three times, then the answer would be the number itself. So, so let's try this one, um, the cube root of 25, 125. So, the, so 125 is equal to 25 times 5. So, we also, and then we know that 25 is equal to 5 times 5. So, as you can see, the similar pattern, um, there are three fives inside of the cube root. So, we know that the answer would just be, um, just be 5. And so, that's how you do cube roots. Thank you.